people often ask me, what is it like working at Bearing Obscurity? Who is Bearing Obscurity? My answer. All right, today, first day of recording. First day of recording. Oh! We, got the, we got the guitars playing today. Yeah, in the back. In the back. And then um, they're playing right now. Right now. Yeah, they're always playing. Always playing. Exactly. Oh, yeah. That's the special thing about our guitars. They're always playing. We don't even need to play them. They're just exactly. They're going. Yeah, they're always going. Precisely. All right. All right, well, yeah, we're, we're, we're driving to uh, Alex, our producer. You will meet him along with in a, uh, bit, yeah. a technician that uh, Alex is uh, interning for. Uh, his name is Mark. Yeah, he's, he's a cool dude. They're both cool dudes. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to recording an EP. Yeah, hopefully we uh, don't get lost on the way there like we always do. Yeah, we usually do get lost. Hello. We made it. We're here. We didn't get lost once. Um, right now, they're um, they're setting up some stuff. They're they're talking. We'll get to meet them hopefully soon. But uh, right now, we don't want to disturb them while they're at work because that would not be great. But yeah. All right. Thank you for listening. Really good expression. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear us too well, but right now we're, um, they're working on some stuff. Uh, they're working on the mic sounds and stuff. Uh, yeah, because that is important because we want our guitars and mics and, 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 and amps and shit to sound good. That one that's mine is on the table. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, fellas, Christian's about to record some feedback. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's do this. It's gonna be a two-part count man. We just had pizza. Cameron just got here. Say hi, Cameron. Wow. Making it right now? Yeah, we're making it right now. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right, perfect. And uh, yeah, so we're just we're tuning up to uh to do some bass stuff for Desert Rose. Like, oh, yo, what is popping, right. fellas? Um, uh, this is um day two of recording. Day two. Yeah, me, I'm doing the the carpool situation. Uh. And um, yeah, so today we're probably gonna work on tracking some more guitar stuff. We got um, last night. Me and me and Cameron were pretty late working on uh, uh, Desert Rose stuff, which you might even hear a little bit of today. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. It's a very he bass-heavy song. You will see when you listen to it. But um, yeah. All right. Cool. Thank All right. you. Is, are you are you? I'm, I'm filming. Yeah, yeah. Hello, my name's Christian. Cameron's over here. He's he's on time today. Say hi, Cameron. Little late. Hi. This is our Good producer, time, Alex. Thank you guys. Hey. <laughs> I'm so tired. So <laughs> so uh, right now we um the some of the fuzz parts we you want to like <laughs> some of the fuzz parts we uh we recorded yesterday for Blue Boogie Blues were a little out of tune, maybe a lot out of tune. I don't know. I couldn't really tell. Was it a lot of attitude or like a little? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, that's like a punk rock level of attitude. All right, cool. But like, we want to, we want to, we want to make it in tune because that's that would be better. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna record that, and uh, yeah, I hope you I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite song to record was Desert Rose, especially with all the sound effects and everything. But I think the favorite, my favorite song listening back was is Sonder or Coffee. Fifteen minutes was also a blast to record because it was just a bunch of sounds. It wasn't really a song. Little battery. Josh who? Josh Brolin. Brolin. So Alex according Brolin. to Alex. Yeah, Josh, Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin. He's from Goonies, from Avengers. He's, He's in Deadpool. He was in Deadpool. What's, what is he in? Goonies. He was the older brother. He's like the jock that bullies on his. Oh no. No, 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 no. Yeah, he's Thanos. Oh, man. <laughs>
Yeah, so apparently, <laughs> Josh, what's his name? Brolin. Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin, apparently, says Not eating. This is a trade secret we learned. From, eating from eating Josh. makes you better at acting. Alex. Like, while you're eating, it's easier to act. Interesting. So that's why we are recording Christian eating. Give me an improv and I'll ask them. I, I don't know how. Are you talking to me? Sure. I'm talking, you to, talking to me. <laughs> that's pretty good. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Right Imagine if Robert De Niro was eating potato it's chips when he's doing that scene. Are you talking to me? <laughs> I have been compared to Robert De Niro. Yeah, because you're Italian? No, just because of my good acting. Gotcha. <laughs> about this record is how experimental we got with the tones. Uh, I think every single guitar tone, even within the same song, sounds different. Uh, ranging from, I don't even know, like the heavy distorted stuff in Blue Boogie to like the filtery sounding bass stuff, I guess, in Coffee. <laughs> tendency to, you know, follow the curve and really not understand who you are and what you're doing. Very Obscurity really paved the way for many influential bands over the time, I feel like. Certainly their sound is kind of like an art rock meets Tex-Mex. <sighs> Hello. Welcome. This is day three of recording. Uh, yesterday we couldn't make a closing one, but uh, we'll explain what we did. But right now, we figured it's important to show you, the audience, the lab. Uh, you go first. You, you go? Okay. What is up? This is it. This is, this is where we record, this is where we do our guitar and bass stuff. There's uh, some stuff over there, the guitar is all over and shit. <laughs> Ooh, damn. That's Alex, our producer, playing on, playing on the guitar right now. There's Cameron, our bassist, you've met him already. And then uh, in here is uh, where we're gonna probably be recording the drums and stuff. And vocals. And vocals, yeah, vocals are right, right over there. Awesome, so uh, now you know a little bit about our setup. So, uh, yeah, um, yesterday we worked on guitar uh, guitar stuff. Uh, we finished up most of the guitar stuff. Right now, we're gonna work on Desert Rose and we're going to, um, we're going to uh, add Bass some and of your keys. guitar effects and stuff like that to, uh, to the track. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, after after we work on the guitar, Cameron is gonna be our, our main man playing playing bass. And then after that, we get uh, we'll get the keys down. The keys. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, that's a reference to to one of our songs. Thank you. You should have listened. You should listen to it. Goodbye. <laughs> Alex is leaving his own house. <laughs> oh, you want to switch bases? No, I want to use his bass. Um, I've talked to each member about uh, where the song should go in terms of vocals, guitars, bass, drums, and 
I think that's why this record is um, one of my favorite thing. One of my favorite things that I've worked on because of how collaborative it was amongst all the members. Okay. All right. So we are now trying to record the keys to. What the? Oh yeah. All right. To uh, to 15 minutes of the intro of the EP. It's gonna go into the the first real song. So uh, Saunder. Saunder, yeah, yeah. So enjoy. We 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 start start recording. Yeah. Oh oh oh! Didn't see you there. Welcome to day four. What? We're recording. We're recording. Uh huh. All right, well, welcome to day four of recording Bearing Obscurity EP. Welcome back to the lab. Today, we were working on vocals yesterday. We finished all of the instrumental stuff except for the saxophone, which is right here. We're gonna, we're gonna yeah, jazz where? it up a little bit. We're, the saxophone over, like, oh. oh, I see it. Yeah. Over, oh, no, 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 it's over here. Over, like, right here. Okay. All right, awesome, woo! Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're the most uh, revolutionary band in their time, of course, I think. They're simple in their complexities and complex in their simplicities. I believe that in every single song, there's a soul that's being touched. A complex, intricate miasma of the human experience ground into a thin, spiritual paste that binds us all together on a certain wavelength. Now there's many modalities in the way that Bearing Obscurity goes through its preemptive criteria. One could say that on a planar scale, the, the sounds are sonically intertwined with the, with, the, with the cultural blends of our generation. I mean, I'm ready. Test. Yep. I am lost! So yeah, <laughs> Oh good. These invisible things are the only reality. It is a happiness. <laughs> Roll. It is apparent I cannot read correctly, so we have to re-record yes. stuff. He he said happiness instead of happiness. I don't have headphones. Van Gogh, Monique, Picasso, all pale in comparison to the genius that Bearing Obscurity has brought to music and to uh, science, history, philosophy, you name it. There hasn't been a band that has truly tapped into the sonic influences that are outside of your normal uh, two genre uh, <laughs> I'm going to think of something else. Okay. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Mm -hmm. Forget Turn it off. Okay, I'll think one. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more jokes. This is too close. I'm sorry. Okay, what if I back up a bit? All right, maybe. Um, that's the joke I had. That's the only one I have. That's the only joke you oh, had. Oh yeah, yeah. Yo, what happened to the frog's car when he got pulled over? It got towed. Perfect. All right, I'm quoting the band guy. Are we both in the camera? <laughs> On guard. Okay. Hold up. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm Jake. I'm the drummer, and uh, we're excited to record today. That's all I got. I don't really got anything else. <laughs> So, we 
we've reached the end of our, of our process of recording and uploading. And it's a magical feeling, my friends. But it's also very bittersweet. Because though we have uploaded our music, the process is done. But more music will be coming soon. So please, listen to our stuff on all streaming platforms. It's gonna be six songs, masterful. The name of the EP being... The Stupendous Downfall of the Human Soul. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching, and I hope you enjoy. I had a blast with these kids, I mean, we had a blast together recording that, and we were just limited, I think, by, um, by what we could do with my equipment, and I think their songwriting, honestly, uh, was, it was waiting for that next step, and now this record proves our, our full potential, and it still leaves room for more, but in a good way. Bearing Absurdity carried themselves as a band that irreversibly influenced uh, modern underground music as we know it. It would be hard to imagine what alternative and indie music would be without the likes of Bearing Obscurity. What's behind the minds of these true virtuosos? One can only wonder. <laughs>